a lot of people try to forecast and oh this is what's going to happen this is a profound fact when we accept the fact that we don't know the future we see the future more clearly just observe the now there's a tremendous amount of information and I'm not trying to harp on this but I have to tell you I've been doing this for over 30 years the information you need is in the charts it's not in the headlines on social media it's not on the headlines in the newspapers follow price and volume if you read the news stories the last several weeks the last month and a half it looks like the end of the world okay COVID-19 pandemic people dying everywhere it's spreading to Central America it's flying across in Brazil and then you know we, we combine it with what's happening with the tensions in the United States and everybody says oh man this is it and oh and unemployment unemployment is, it's going to fall apart this market's going to fall apart earnings are going to get killed everything's going to be awful and as we go through this you'll see several of the major indices are near all-time highs if you just follow price and volume you'll be ahead of the game now I am not telling you to be ignorant of what is happening but don't dwell on it let price and volume be your final arbiter for decision making there's also a foundation when you accept the fact that you don't know the future you'll see the future more clearly just by looking at the present so let's take it away right here I, I brought in this out here's a list of major in, index ETFs that I follow I encourage you to have these on your page and here's a great tactic for you run through these every day sorted by quote sort a percent and you will see strength every day in the market and you will see weakness every day in the market it will tell you what to focus on and what to avoid and I'll also share this with you look at weekly charts and daily charts okay it'll help you so here's the list go ahead and take a screenshot of it if you want and I'm going to do this I'm going to open it up so we can look at the charts weekly on the left daily on the right you can say wow this looks pretty dang good you know the IBD 50 folks just take note of how far it is off 52 week highs all right well off 52 week highs by the way I'm not knocking the IBD 50 that's not the point the point is if you just looked at this you say eh, things are kind of crummy there's not much to do remember this well off 52 week highs I'll build my case all righty here's the next one for you gold miners junior gold miners markets rallying and this it's just kind of flopping now it hit highs but it's, it's not participating right now maybe that'll change it's still above the rising 50 day worth remembering junior gold miners look at this I want to show you something right here gold miners on the 50 day junior miners gold miners at the 20 day which is stronger folks this one gold miners junior gold miners what does that tell you if you're going to look at these look at the juniors they're stronger okay and somebody said well maybe the other ones will catch up and I'll say now you're inferring your beliefs on it let the charts tell you what to do here's gold flopping around now you take a look at this and say yeah, it's all right you take a look at this yeah it's okay you know yeah and then you look at gold and you go boy I don't know and it fell markets basically dang near hitting all-time highs Dow's up over 900 freaking points and this thing fell on a pickup in volume folks come on move on IBB hanging in there hanging in there on the 20 day fell on a pickup in volume but just fell a little bit maybe it'll bounce off the 20 day it is in your 52 week highs <clears throat> North American technology strong which is why we've been involved have been involved and are involved in technology you know everything looks crummy and this thing just keeps on marching folks just focus on it mid cap stronger on the daily still lagging on the weekly but it is starting to come back to life what does that indicate for us hey maybe the rally's spreading out okay cool here's IWM small cap starting to pick up a little bit what does that tell us this is good news that maybe the rally is spreading out from the big stocks to other stocks and you can say Patrick why do you say the big stocks I'll tell you why I talk about big stocks you're going to see it in a minute continue onward mid cap MDY another mid cap ETF 
lifting on up, still off the highs, but it's starting to exhibit some strength. Oil services is picking up, and man, it's still way down there, okay? And by the way, this thing is rallying on substantially less volume than it fell on. So not a leader group. Move on. Software. Look at that. That sucker hit 52-week highs this week. Hit, excuse me, hit all-time highs this week. Software. And it's been strong when the market was getting spanked, which is why we've been involved with the software sector. NASDAQ 100. Look at this. Near 52-week highs. Not that far away. I just showed you a bunch of index ETFs that aren't so good. The NASDAQ 100. We've owned this. Okay? It's near highs. Don't argue with it. And again, yeah, but I'll tell you what, man. They're going to defund the police departments and everything's going to fall apart. Well, the chart's telling you different. Get in line with the charts. QQQ, look at this. NASDAQ 100. Let me refresh this real quick. NASDAQ 100 leveraged near highs. NASDAQ 100 at highs. The NASDAQ 100 is at all-time highs. The NASDAQ 100 has been leading this advance. What does that tell you? Well, gosh, it, it told you back here. Maybe I ought to start looking at the NASDAQ 100 stocks. Yeah, which is why we have the max list. Love those stocks. Here we go. Steel, picking up a little bit, but still lagging. Pretty gappy, nothing special there. SMH, very strong, near 52-week highs. Hit 52-week highs. Folks, hit all-time highs. Guess what we're in? We're, S we're in SMH. And by the way, it's not bragging. It's just looking at the dang chart and, oh, golly, unemployment. This market's going to get its butt kicked. Okay, go ahead and think it. All I know is this is strong and we buy strength. There it is. Spiders. Spiders starting to lift it. The S&P 500 starting to pick up. That's positive. The rally's spreading out. SSO, the leveraged one. Spreading out. Solar, still kind of lagging, you know, up a little bit. I do like that volume on the weekly, but is there a clean entry there? Not really. TNA, small cap. We looked at it a bit. Small cap starting to pick up. No real clean entry here, but it does show some strength, and it's telling you what? Well, the big caps are leading and the mid caps are leading. Gosh, how are the small caps? Well, they're doing okay. They're starting to pick up too. No clean entry here, but it shows it's spreading. Oil, look at this. Oh, this is picking up. Oil. Do you need to overthink it? Leave it alone. Move on. Aerospace. Picking up a little bit. Look at that. That's nice to see. Aerospace and defense. Good. No real clean entry here, but possibly some of the charts are improving. Home builders. The economy is falling apart and everybody's out of work and, you know, many people will die. Okay. And I guess nobody's going to buy a dang home and nobody's going to have a house built, that's for sure. Yep, and it's near all-time highs. Opinions don't count. Forecasts don't count. Price and volume pays. Materials picking up. If the world's falling apart, you need materials to build things. If the world's freaking falling apart, then why are materials doing so well? You don't need a preconceived notion. I'll stop with that rant. Okay, here we go. Communications grinding on up. Good to see. Nice to see. Energy picking up a little bit. Still lagging, though. Nothing to do with it. Financials picking up a little bit, but lagging. All right. But it is nice to see. Do you see the theme here? It's like, oh, that's kind of starting to go up. Oh, that's kind of starting to go up. Oh, that's kind of starting to go up. Build the case. Industrials picking up. Still not a leadership, but it is starting to pick up. What does it show? This rally has been spreading out. XLK, look at that, right near all-time highs. And guess what we've been involved with for a while? Technology. Consumer staples starting to pick up a little bit too. That's a plus. Utilities picking up a little bit. That's a plus. Healthcare, that's been strong. Why has healthcare been strong? You ever think about it? You don't really need to overthink it. In relation to COVID-19. Developments in relation to COVID-19 and treatment. Consumer discretionary. Think about it. consumer discretionary is right near all-time highs. Discretionary spending on the consumer's behalf. Well, I'll tell you what. The world is, you know, really in big trouble. Well, what's this telling us? That it's not. 
metals and mining picking up, but there's no clean entry there. Retail, retail. Oh man, the consumer, everybody's out of work. Everything's falling apart. And the consumer, look at this, retail's grinding up near all time highs. Software has really been leading for a long time. What has that done for us? Well, we've keyed and been involved with software. It's not that hard. Just get in line with what is. There's the IBD 50. This is interesting in that it's, it's lagging. It's, it's participating, but it's nowhere near the strength of the others. Okay? That's why I don't get too wrapped into it. There's the gold. Hold on a second. And we're back to the top. There you go. That helps you. Here's the list again. I'll leave it up there. Take a, you know, hit control C on your keyboard and you got a copy of this list. I encourage you systematize, look at it every day, a couple of times a day. You don't need to look at five minute charts. Just look at the daily chart. Just scan down them really quick and you'll quickly see strength and weakness that will help you find out, determine what are the areas I need to look at and what are the areas I need to avoid. That's it. It's done. This video is 11 minutes. Without me talking, to go through these, this list of ETFs, about a minute and a half and you're done. Two minutes. Tops, that's it. Just look at it daily and the weekly. That's all. And you will be light years ahead of most investors. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.